I have a hypothesis as to why feminism is so popular and very prevalent in media and in news and, and, and spoken about by politicians here in America. And in order to do that, I need to break down a few things. You know, feminism, the dictionary definition on paper, is the belief that men and women are equal, and the activism of feminism is to aspire to make men and women equal in blank. Now, that plays out in a lot of different ways, so I can't go into too much detail about specific problems I have with feminism, because there's so many different um, directions that feminism can go in that each and every feminist doesn't necessarily dis uh, agree with. Um, certain areas of focus but I can paint with this broad brush here and I think I can address all feminism and all feminists with this accusation I have here so America is a very rapidly m moving towards left it is a country that is going much more liberal and much more progressive America is a country that is very interested in equality of opportunity and America is a country that is extremely um, not sexist and is culturally as a whole, at least on the average, recoils from prejudice and discrimination of all kinds. You know, our media represents this and has since the early 90s and late 80s even. Our, our politicians talk like this. Our news media uh, addresses things from this lens, this cultural lens that we are equal and that we should have more freedoms and opportunity. And it is because if you take the on paper definition of feminism, not what feminism is in practice, because it is most certainly not this in practice. The, the belief that men and women should have equality of opportunity is not what feminism is in practice. But that's, you know, something I've covered before. But feminism on paper, the belief that men and women should be equal, is what America is culturally and what America is by law. Uh, I want to address two statistics before we get to this point that I'm trying to make. Okay, so first is the wage gap. That women make 77 cents to a man's dollar for the same work. This is a lie. This is not true. The statistics and the cited uh, studies do not support this period okay now this statistic says that women make 77 cents to the man's dollar when you consider all men and all women in all occupations this is the medium difference and the fact of the matter is men and women are required by law to make the same money for the same work and for the most part they do there are certain occupations where there might be an actual um, citable real um, evidence for a wage gap then that of course is a problem but it is difficult to handle real problems when there is bullshit uh, statistics uh, propagated next is that uh, one in five women will be raped on a college campus that is a lie um, even one in five women will be sexually assaulted on a college campus is not true you know, first of all the the numbers bear out that it's more like 0 0.003 women in uh, uh, 0 0.003 women out of five will be sexually assaulted, and that covers everything from actual rape to just um, being touched inappropriately by somebody. And that's an, another grievance I have with feminism is that they will constantly um, over exaggerate numbers and equate somebody grabbing your butt at a party which of course is assault but equating that with rape like actual rape is what i think i think a heinous heinous exaggeration of the severity of having your butt grabbed rape is an incredibly heinous crime and that brings me to my main point there is no rape culture there is no crime that americans as a whole recoil worse from than rape not even murder is held as egregious and heinous in the in the moral zeitgeist of America rape and, and, and child rape are the worst of the worst um, 
and, and that's just patently obvious, okay? And we have a culture that has been much more supportive of gays, you know, in the media and entertainment, much more supportive of uh, other ethnicities other than white, and are very supportive of women. Now, because America is progressive as a whole, on average, and because we care, for the most part, about equality, and because we recoil not just from rape, but from discrimination and prejudice, be it about race or ethnicity or sexuality or what have you, we have these sensationalist attention seekers, feminists, running in the media and saying, rape everywhere, hide your kids, hide your wife, they be raping everyone out here. They're saying that women are being oppressed, that there's a glass ceiling, that there's a patriarchy, the great mythical hell, Satan, of demons of patriarchy, it's everywhere. It's the Illuminati of the New Age, man, is patriarchy. And they're saying, look at your culture. It's horrible, it's awful, it's criminal, it's evil. And us being, for the most part, good, decent, progressive, forward-thinking, equalist people are mortified. Where? Where's the rapist? Where? Where's the prejudiced asshole? Where's the freaking neo-Nazi? Grab a pitchfork, grab a torch. We must solve this problem. It's the, it's the feminist who cried wolf. Because the stated goals of on-paper feminism have long since been achieved in this country, people are making a really good living and getting a lot of attention for saying that that's not true. And they are successful in this because we want what they say they want. Now, it's very easy to denounce feminism when you look at its t uh, attacking gender norms, attacking things like the color pink and Barbie dolls, and is there enough black people on your television show? You know, freaking, you know, do, does a woman ever a villain in your video game? This fucking nonsense is really what feminism is doing in our culture. But the reason why they're able to is because they're dishonestly saying rape everywhere, uh, discrimination everywhere, sexism, racism everywhere. And it's not. And we definitely don't want it to be because we are a progressive culture and a good-natured culture and decent people. And we don't want to see the boogeyman that they're hyping in our country. You understand? So they're lying. It's just sensationalism. It's McCarthyism. It's witch hunting. That's it. Thanks for watching.